So today, as I mentioned, we have lots in store for you. So I'd like to invite Chaitra Vidula Pali to the stage. She is the president and co-founder of Women in Cloud. Many of you know her. She is also the co-founder and CMO of Mela, and she is an inspiration to our great community. So welcome, Chaitra. Over to you. Thank you, Raisa. Thank you so much. First is good morning, good afternoon, and good evening to all of you. So first is thank you to each and every one of you for being here with us today. Can you believe a year ago our lives changed forever? Uh, can you take a moment and share how your life changed and what was the moment that you decided to do more for people around you? Go ahead, take a moment. Let's get you engaged. Take a moment to share how your life changed and what was the moment you decided to do more for people around you. I can tell you, we went into lockdown. We started working from home. We witnessed the election of our lifetime, watched 10 million people lose their jobs, right? And 7 million people are behind on rents. And we are dealing with all kinds of crises uh, we as humans uh, are experiencing that we were not prepared in the recent times. But for more uh, particularly, what does this mean for the women in our society? So let me paint some picture and the current landscape that we believe is going to constitute to a global crisis for women in the upcoming years as a direct impact of the current pandemic. The first one, I, I love the responses, keep going. The first one is the lack of representation. If you remember 30 years ago, the computing women workforce was 36%. And in 2019, the number has fallen to 27%. This has created a gap of 8 million women in the tech workforce, while each of the business on the planet is becoming a digital business because of pandemic. The second one is the supplier uh, diversity allocation. Today, only 3% of the corporate procurement dollars and 5% of the uh, federal contracts are going to women-owned firms. The situation is actually compounded by investors reducing the investment in the women-led companies, taking it to less than 2%. Now, it's no wonder that's only 2% of the women-owned business ever make it to a million dollar in revenue, which is 3.5 times less than the male counterparts. Number three, increased displacement of women-held jobs so according to the Bureau of Labor Statistics, due to the COVID-19, more than 2.2 million women were unemployed, and it's estimated 180 million women jobs will be eliminated over the next 20 years as a result of AI transformation. This is a scary fact, right? And it's extremely unbearable situation to see so many of us needing a significant access and support for survival. What we need is to create an infinite economic access network in the tech industry. And this is where you all come in. I mean, each one of you come in. We believe you and your company can become the linchpin in solving matters related to representation, job displacement, and supplier diversity allocation to create a billion dollars in economic impact while developing a strategic blueprint for the United Nations to solve any of the 17 sustainable goals. It all requires is collective power, access, and influence. So Women in Cloud was designed as an economic access movement in the 21st century to galvanize collective power to rethink as well as reimagine the world where women are equally represented in the Fortune 1000 companies' supplier networks. Now, here is the great news. If women and men work together to double their supplier diversity allocation in the Fortune 1000 companies, not just the spend, just the budget allocation, we will generate a billion dollars in revenue for women entrepreneurs. So today, as you invest time and energy to learn, connect, and get inspired, I'm asking all of you 
to consider shifting your agenda to create infinite access for anyone you meet. So this means is challenging the status quo and deliberately creating a path for them to realize their dreams. In doing so, we are enabling a creation of a powerful network that can avert the impending global crisis.